Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored a number of frontline medical professionals and supporting entities with the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit at a ceremony held under his patronage at Qatabiya Palace. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the frontline medical professionals and supporting entities for their efforts to mitigate COVID-19 over the past two years. His Royal Highness stated that the royal order to grant the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit reflects His Majesty's continued support to the Kingdom's frontline medical professionals and supporting entities from the Bahrain Defence Force, the Ministry of Interior and various other agencies. His Royal Highness the Deputy King expressed his gratitude and appreciation for Team Bahrain's exceptional achievements and contributions to safeguarding the health of the Kingdom's citizens and residents throughout the ongoing global pandemic. He noted the importance of continuing on a united efforts to further the kingdom's development and to achieve the kingdom's overall goal of combating COVID-19. On behalf of the honorees, the head of public health laboratories at the Ministry of Health, Mrs. Amjad Ghanem Zayed, delivered a speech in which she expressed their collective gratitude and appreciation for His Majesty the King's and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's continued support and to contribute to the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty to see the king with the support of his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister further expressed the honorees a pledge to further strengthen mitigation efforts and safeguard the kingdom from covid 19. احنا مجتمعين اليوم على اثر حدث يمر قليل على الشعوب وعلى الاوطان يعني هذه الجائحه كانت كانها حرب مرت على المجتمع باكمله فانا سعيد ان اكون معاكم اليوم ما بعد هذا التحدي الكبير في مرحلته اللي مضت اللي أنقل لكم شكر وتقدير صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى حفظه الله وشكري وبالنيابة عن البحرين أجمع شكر المواطنين حقيقة الشكر موصول على ما مضى والشكر موصول أيضا على ما يمكن أن يأتينا في المستقبل هذه الجائحة يعني تتحور وإحنا نشوف هذا الواقع يوما بعد يوم وكنا في بر الأمان لله الحمد من تقريبا شهر ستة من هذا العام إلى هذا اليوم ولكن ما بيفوتكم أن الأعداد في العالم تزيد وتحور أوميكرون وصل وحذانا إحنا قاعدين نستعد لجولة أو مرحلة ثانية يجوز من هذه المعركة نطلب أن الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يخفف علينا هذا التحدي وإن شاء الله إذا أثبتت الدراسات أنه هو أخف فهو نعمة من الله سبحانه وتعالى لكني حقيقة يعني عملت معاكم هذه السنين وعرفت منكم 
العمل الأصيل والمثابرة والصبر والشجاعة وعدم يعني وضع المصالح الفردية فوق المصالح المجتمعية بل وضعت البحرين يعني نصب عيونكم وأديت الواجب بأكمل وجه وبأحسن صورة وأنا شاكر لكل المؤسسات اللي متواجدة يعني اليوم معنا لأن فعلا مملكة البحرين اشتغلت كفريق واحد قوة دفاع البحرين وزارة الداخلية الخدمات الطبية وزارة الصحة المطار الدفاع المدني طيران الخليج المتطوعين من جميع أنحاء هذا المملكة الكل تقدم وأعطى من وقته والحقيقة يعني خاطر بصحته من أجل آخرين هذا الوسام هو تقدير لهذا العمل النبيل ويمثل لحظة في حياتنا حياتنا جميعا ما حد توقع أن هذه الجائحة بتيه ما قرينا عن يعني أشياء مثل هذه في الكتب وإحنا ناشئين ولا أظن مر على جيل يعني موجود اليوم شيء من هذا القبيل لكن مثل ما يعني تشتد الأزمات فتشتد العزائم أو تكبر العزائم نهاية يعني وبدون إطالة الروح الوطني والروح الإنساني والروح لحب التحدي وعشق الإنجاز شفت فيكم مو بمرة بل آلاف المرات فتحية وشكر وتقدير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله
The Sustainable Energy Authority said it succeeded in achieving more than 95% of the national renewable energy goals and more than 80% of the national energy efficiency goal, which leaves nearly 50% only to be achieved in the next four years. A report issued by the Sustainable Energy Authority emphasized the encouragement of investment in solar energy by supporting the economic and technical feasibility of solar energy projects. To speak more about this, we are joined over the phone by the President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdelhassan bin Ali Mirza. Hello, Dr. Mirza. It's good to have you here with us tonight. Can you tell us about the efforts of Sustainable Energy Authority throughout the last two years that led to achieving more than 95% of the national goals for renewable energy and more than 80% of the national goal to raise energy efficiency? Good evening, Sarah, and thank you for hosting me. Uh, since the establishment of the Sustainable Energy Authority two years ago by royal decree issued by His Majesty the King in October 2019, the Sustainable Energy Authority has accelerated the pace of actioning the projects and policies that are embedded in the National Renewable Action Plan and the National Energy Efficiency Action Plan these two plans were approved by the cabinet uh, back in 2017 and this of course has taken further momentum with the recent uh, climate change summit cop 26 which heightened the need for clean energy and uh, reducing the emissions which pollute the environment for example, the national target for renewable energy in Bahrain is achieving 5% renewable in the energy mix by 2025. This is equivalent to 250 megawatts of clean energy. And I'm pleased to report that to date we have appro approved the renewable energy projects totaling 236 megawatt out of the 250, which means 95% uh, of the target uh, has been approved. Therefore, we have only 5% left, and we have four years until 2025 to achieve uh, that target. Uh, therefore, we are confident that we will exceed the target by 2025. Also, in the case of national uh, targets for energy efficiency, which is 6% improvement in energy efficiency by 2025, uh, the, the National Energy Efficiency Action Plan contains 22 initiatives or projects to be implemented. Here again, I'm pleased to report that work has by now started on all the 22 initiatives and the majority of them have already been achieved or implemented which means we have so far achieved some 80 to 90 percent of the national target and therefore we are confident again we will exceed this target that is amazing That's yeah. Dr. Misa, in recognition for your efforts, Oxford Group listed Bahrain's efforts and accomplishments in the areas of sustainable energy in its report on economic recovery from COVID-19. Can you tell us more about that? Well, Oxford Business Group is a reputable international uh, publisher and advisory company. It has a wide circle, its publications has a wide circle of distribution in the world and therefore any item in their publication that reflects the sort of uh, progress of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the sustainable energy sector will be a very good way to enhance the image of Bahrain and the world particularly with the recent uh, emphasis on reducing uh, emissions and clean and increasing clean energy mm -hmm. therefore we were very pleased to meet with them and discuss with them the developments and achievement of this important sector of sustainable energy which reflects the successful effort of the kingdom of bahrain 
in uh, you know reducing emissions and combating climate change hmm. well and uh, thank you very much and that was the president of the sustainable energy authority dr abdul hussein bin ali mirza thank you again for joining us the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullatif bin Rashid Zayani, held an official discussion session with the Secretary of State for Foreign Commonwealth and Development of the United Kingdom, Elizabeth Tuss. Trust welcomed Dr. Zayani and hailed the deep rooted historic ties between the two friendly countries and the advanced level of bilateral cooperation in all fields. She expressed her aspirations for further progress and development to serve common interests. For his part, the Minister congratulated Trust on her appointment, wishing her success. As Zayani noted, the UK's support of efforts to establish peace and peaceful coexistence in the Middle East and the Abraham Accord. He affirmed Bahrain's interest in expanding joint cooperation fields with the UK in various political, security and economic fields, stressing the peculiarity of the historical relationship between the two friendly countries and people and the distinction of their joint cooperation, understanding and continuous coordination towards the various challenges facing the region. They reviewed the development of historic relations between the two countries in various fields and discussed means of enhancing and developing bilateral cooperation in all political, security and economic fields, as well as trade exchange and joint investment for the benefit of the two countries and people. They also affirmed the importance of continuing to joint efforts to consolidate friendship and joint cooperation and bilateral coordination towards the various challenges facing the region to to achieve security, stability, peace and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the extraordinary meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation on Afghanistan, which was held yesterday in Pakistan under the patronage and presence of the Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan and in the presence of Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, the President of Islamic Summit. The meeting was also attended by the representatives of the US, the UK, Russia, the European Union, France, Japan and representatives of the Secretary General of the UN. The meeting issued a resolution affirming the commitment of the member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to the sovereignty, independence, territorial integrity and national unity of Afghanistan and to providing assistance for peace, security, stability and development in Afghanistan. The resolution called on the international community to provide urgent and continuous humanitarian aid to Afghanistan that the organization will play a leading role in delivering humanitarian and development assistance to the people of Afghanistan. The resolution appealed to all countries of the world, the United Nations and international organizations, including international financial institutions, to continue providing all possible and necessary assistance for recovery, reconstruction, development and financial assistance to Afghanistan. The resolution also stressed the importance of combating terrorism and ensuring that the territory of Afghanistan is not used as a platform or a haven for terrorist organizations, stressing that peace and stability in Afghanistan will contribute to the safe and dignified return of all Afghan refugees and their constructive role in the development of the country. The meeting also issued a resolution on the Palestinian and the holy city of Al-Quds al-Sharif in which it affirmed the centrality of the Palestine to issue to the member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. It's condemned the illegal measures taken by Israel to change the legal status and character of the holy city of Al-Quds al-Sharif and called on member states and the international community, including the UN Security Council, to bear their responsibilities in this regard. The resolution emphasized that the key to any real peace solution starts with the city of Jerusalem and preserving its status and historical status to enable the Palestinian people to exercise their inalienable rights, foremost of which is their right to self-determination and the establishment of their independent state with Al-Qadz al-Sharif as its capital. 
on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed al fatah and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Northern Governorate and in the presence of the Governor Ali al Asfur organized a parade with the participation of a number of departments of the Ministry of Interior, the police band, the cavalry police in addition to motorcycles. The event was launched in the Abu Sabah beach in the midst of the distinguished presence and a large crowd of citizens and residents expressing their appreciation to the Bahraini police and their gratitude for the security efforts made to preserve the security of the homeland and protect life and property. They also expressed their admiration for the distinguished show and its role in enhancing the spirit of citizenship and loyalty among all segments of society.